Hello people, this is 40 Splish Splash Roger and today I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up a giveaway using Gleam.io. First off, you need to download Gleam.io in order to use it, which is very simple. You just sign up either by creating a free account by filling in your email or you can also do that by logging in with Facebook, that's up to you. When you've logged in, it's going to look something like this. This is the place to go and where you start to do the new competitions and we're going to go through that. A good thing is also that they've implemented example competitions for several different platforms and such. And you can go in there and preview and see if that is something for you. And if you like that kind of preview, it's also very easy to copy if you just want to use that template. But to make a custom competition, you press new competition up in the right corner. It will take some time to load and then it will look like this. Uh, this is like the setup, the first page you might say where you have to fill in stuff. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to name my giveaway. Uh, well, this is up to you what you want to call it. It's going to be a Tesla giveaway. Woo! Always wanted to give away a Tesla. Thumbs up if you like Tesla. And down here you can choose the starting date you might say when it comes to the actual giveaway. And of course also when it's going to end. Remember also to check your time zone. Uh, I live in Stockholm, Sweden, so I'm just going to find that and uh, click that. So you have that right. It's going to be good both for you and the uh, people that are joining the giveaway. You can also fill out terms and conditions. Maybe you want to use YouTube's terms and conditions when it comes to giveaways because you need to follow them as well. There's always possibilities to upgrade uh, into a paid plan, you might say. We're not going to do that here and I think you should definitely try out the free version as I'm showing here the first time you're doing a giveaway before you decide to actually pay money to get even more ways to do the giveaway. Maybe put a picture to the actual giveaway, things like that. So now we're in the user details tab and here you have the possibility if you want to to actually make uh, age restrictions for the giveaway. That is definitely possible if you feel that it's needed. That depends on what you're giving away. Maybe a Tesla car is not a good thing for someone that is nine years old. What do I know? Uh, also here you can see different kind of options when it comes to logging in first before getting into the giveaway, things like that. It's up to you what you want to do there. You can also put in your Facebook page address. Uh, this is optional because it's different kind of terms of service when it comes to different platforms. At least this is an option where you can allow the users to like your Facebook page if you want to. Here you can also give the competitors a chance to log in with different kind of you know platforms and uh, accounts which I do think is a good thing. It looks something like this. You can also actually have uh, notification by email if you want to. You can also add custom fields if you want to tweak what the viewers will see when I go into your giveaway. I will not touch base on this right now. It's just an optional thing for you guys to check out. Now we're getting into the funny part you might say which is on tab 3 and this is how to enter the giveaway and as you can see you have a lot of different options. For now I'm going to do a kind of setup that I've used before and this is mainly if you're doing a giveaway on YouTube. So I'm going to choose YouTube and also here you have different options. You have YouTube entry, subscribe to channel and things like that. Watch a video. One or at least two of these. Uh, I think the last one is you got to have a paid plan for it. But for now we're going to choose subscribe to channel and I think that's something that a lot of you guys want to use when you're doing giveaway for YouTube. It's up to you of course and also here you can change the title which is bonus entry for my subscribers right there. Maybe you want to write something funny, what do I know? You should also choose the entries for that kind of entry. So in my giveaway right here it's uh, worth two points. And of course you also have to copy and paste your channel you URL into the giveaway so the people can get onto your channel when they are doing the entry. You can also choose if that's going to be a mandatory action that is also up to you. I haven't really done that yet. Uh, again up to you. I'm going to leave it unticked for now and we're going to move on and add some more stuff. Add a new way to enter the actual giveaway. I'm going to choose visit on Facebook and also here you of course have to copy and paste the URL from Facebook. Visit is definitely possible when it comes to terms of service of Facebook. Go ahead and do that if you want to use Facebook as well in the giveaway. That entry is worth one point for now. That's up to you again. You can tweak that however you want to do it. And we're going to add Twitter as well. 
It's not against Twitter's terms of service to actually ask the people entering the giveaway to follow you on Twitter so that you can do and you just put in your username on Twitter and again choose how much entries that's going to be worth. I'm going to keep it as one. It's You can use it uh, as mandatory. Again, we're going to have that unticked here for now. And we're actually going to add a fourth thing here. We have YouTube, we have Facebook and Twitter. I'm going to give you something that is called bonus, which is kind of a cool thing. Uh, bonus me means that you can click for daily bonus entries and here you can choose how many points uh, that's gonna be worth but before this bonus entry is unlocked for the competitors that are joining the giveaway you can actually tell them how many actions uh, they need to do before they can get this bonus thing which is kind of fun and also cool thing in the giveaway if you want to try to use that so now we have to tell the cool people that are joining the giveaway what they can actually win and as mentioned before they can win a Tesla in my giveaway. Oh, I so wish that was true. But this is a tutorial so we can do whatever we want. Here's another description for you guys to fill in. Uh, also used for shares. Uh, it's optional, of course. I'm just for the purpose of the video again, gonna write welcome to the Tesla giveaway. Um, good luck to everyone. Things like that. You know, being nice to people that are actually taking their time to join your giveaway. Before you leave this tab, you also have to choose how many winners there will be. Uh, I so wished that I could actually give away two Tesla cars, that would be just amazing. Again, this is a tutorial and I can do whatever I freaking want. Now we're going to go to post entry and this is also very important because here you can see how it will look when people are getting a default confirmation email. This is an option that you can use. Uh, I don't think I use that actually for my latest giveaway. Uh, some people think it's spammy, some like it because they actually see that it's legit and that they have actually entered the giveaway. You can see the blue green like button on my right side up there. You can turn that off if you don't want to use it. Here's some other option like custom confirmation email and stuff, but you have to upgrade to actually use this. When you're done with that section, you can save and you can see that the competition was successfully saved and create it, which is really, really good for you. Uh, here you can see different options now where you can actually embed in a page or blog post, which is good if you have like an own website, things like that, if you're blogging, etc, etc. There's also, as mentioned before, paid plans if you want to use a custom background, things like that. Also, if you have Facebook again, you can uh, use uh, the link to install your campaign to your Facebook page. But now let us press save and this is how it looks for the people that are entering your giveaway. And as you can see, it worked pretty well. We got all the things we wanted to include right here. And above here, you can also see the, you know, the campaign when it opens uh, the date and that it's actually up and running, which is good. If you press code install, you can see that you have some very important info, especially at the very, very lowest part of this page. This is the hosted landing page and this is the key or actually the address you need that you want to give out on your social media, maybe on your YouTube video where you are announcing the giveaway because this is how it's going to look when uh, people are entering that particular giveaway. Um, so very, very important. Don't forget to use that link. There's also ways to keep track when it comes to the actual giveaway and that is by going into reporting. And this is a way to check the stats for the giveaway, you might say. You can also, again, go into Promote. This is a guide where you can get some tips if you want to. And uh, they also have other stuff that, that they might send to you if you allow them to do that through your email. I have now entered my own giveaway for this very good example of, of yours. <laughs> so you can see here that I have done that and we're also going to draw a winner. So you go into the Winners tab. This is after the giveaway has been done. You press draw winner you approve that is very important and since it's only one entry for now it's going to be quite obvious that I am winning my own giveaway kind of weird okay so this is good though because here's where you get the information about the winner maybe that person has entered with the email and also maybe the Twitter etc so it's going to be quite easy to uh, reach out to that winner because you have to do that that is nothing uh, that Gleam IO can do do for you. You can also choose to announce winners in widgets uh, with or without avatars. 
When you have picked the winner and you're announcing the winner, people will see that when they go into that link we were just talking about before. I think overall using Gleam.io is a very effective way to do a giveaway. You can tweak it however you want it and it's quite easy to set up as you can see here. I hope you enjoyed this Tesla giveaway or at least a tutorial and I hope you will be able to do this yourself in the nearby future. Take care people, if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up, maybe comment if you have questions as well. And as always take care, if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. This was Forest Splish Splash, take care people, over and out.